then it has to be, then it has to be um, African, what did I say? Uh, you said African American Caribbean. Okay. No, North American African clan. That's as specific as you can get. Now, what did Why would you want to do that? Though? What did I'm professor saying, what I wouldn't want to do that. That's what I'm saying. We, I would want to say, I just want to say African American. What did Professor Small say? He likes African American straight up. You know that's pointing at you. Right. right. But if it is African American straight up, you're talking about the Americas. So you got. North America, Central America, the Caribbean, that's what South I'm saying. America. And that's what I just got finished saying. I'm saying no. that if you if you make it when long, you said it, the way okay. you said it, you said North American Caribbean. You have sent we have people South Central America, South America, and when you say it the way that you said it, it's like you're not acknowledging their existence. When you say when you say African American, we mean what the United States of America. Right, that's because what you that, mean. That's, that's right. right. We mean the United States of America. And and, 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 and Dr. J M says and said no, but you have. The, 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 so the, the, the people in Brazil are African American. That's right. The, 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 in Colombia, the African American. Well, that's a, that's, that's a, how, how, spe how specific are you going to go? You're going to say uh, 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 African Suriname, you know? Or, you no, know, that, that's why I'm saying South America, Central America, because right. there's a lot of countries in, the, in okay. our continent. So if you say African, when you say African Americans, most people think of us. USA. Right. Okay. They, you, they're not thinking, uh, you know, Belize mm -hmm. or Panama or right. Brazil or Suriname or any of those are we, are we getting some ton of the nuances? Because, right. because then, it is which African American, the one that were brought straight here, I've been here 300 years, or the one who came other day, and then some of them married to African American, then which, which and then some of them who come from the Caribbean, they say, kind of African Caribbean. And so it's like, whoa. So, so the best thing, <laughs> as, uh, from my perspective, having dealt with this thing for no many years, we would like to say straight up we're African, but then what you're saying is it doesn't give us a root. It, it doesn't give us a root in the African continental, and it doesn't give us a root in the Americas. So if you really want to come up with a synthesis, it is Africans in the Americas. Yes, you can say it that way. But do you want to But if anybody looked at this group of us here and they didn't and we didn't say anything, they wouldn't be able to say whether we're from Brazil, whether we're from Peru, whether we're from Central America, whether we're from the, the littoral, meaning the Guyanas and whatnot, or any of the islands of the Caribbean. We're, in other words, this is the perspective of the of of the of all, North yeah. America, Central America, South America, and the uh, uh, the deep Brazilian thing. Brazil has itself looked at this, and they've broken themselves up into 30 races to com complete the confusion of it all. Okay. The, uh, and the 30 races are based upon superficial, skin color, size of the nose, texture of the hair. Well, that's race. We're not talking about race. I'm talking strictly about culture. And this is where, this is where we depart, because remember, well, you're, you're the, the amalgam... you using culture to define. Yes, because the, the, uh, the amalgam, the amalgam that goes to North America is different than the amalgam right. that goes to the Caribbean, different not than the amalgam that... Yes, it is, because, it because, the, because for the most part, especially the Brazilian and the, and the, and the Caribbean, it was, it was dominated by, 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 the, by, by Catholics who did not break up families necessarily? What? They didn't break up families. Okay, the the, the, the Catholics like to keep a family together. Yeah, they got broken up, but not like I, not I, like I not would, like North America. I would disagree. I, I would disagree. disagree. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't define our experience based upon Protestant Catholic, or Catholic. Catholic. It was the European system of exploitation and the dehumanization of Africans. The Catholics did it just as the Protestants did. And their bank accounts. And, and, the, and the differences between them were just different techniques. It certainly wasn't the difference of... of um, you, you went into uh, a Bahia, a Salvador Bahia, with a shipload. They wouldn't say, we're going to keep this family together. They might say, we want to keep a lot of 30 people that came from uh, Nigeria together. 
But they didn't give a shit about our families. <laughs> they didn't no. give a shit about our families, Catholics or no. We were going to be dehumanized. Right. And the dehumanization is Protestant, the dehumanization is Catholic, yeah. it's Portuguese, it's Dutch, yeah. it's English, yeah. it's Swedish, Spanish. it's Danish, yeah. and, and uh, yeah. all of the English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get that on tape? <laughs> hey, black power! <laughs> <laughs> So back to so the so the other point is, do we in the, in the context of of the um, AU specifically? Yes. Do has is there a push? Is there a, is there a thing to um, to to in fact uh, get a seat? I'm gonna say get a seat. At, sit at the table as 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 the diaspora as, as like I said as as, as, as Dr. Clark no. would say. No. Okay. Why is that? No. Why is that? Is because African leadership has not matured to the point where they understand where the world is, where it's come from, and where it's going. When you say African leadership, you're most meaning African right? leadership comes out of a processing of the European. Most African leadership comes out of a processing of the European military. Most African leadership comes out of a process of the European schools that were designed to create Europeans. So they they do not have a consciousness of Africa. That's one of the great, and neither did Nelson Mandela. Okay. Neither the, did Bishop Tutu. Okay, I, I understand. Yeah. I'm not, the question not is what they are, what the, what their consciousness is, as, not as if they, they are going to all of a sudden get enlightened, but in, 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 the, in the world of, you know, the way, I want to say the way it should be. Right. But the way it should be, not the way it is, but the way it should be. And we're talking, we're talking like the Roadrunner. We're, we're looking. We're looking at, at. We're not looking at the after image right now. We're looking at where it's going to be. Not all this the vapor. Right. You see, that's what I'm saying. So I know it would be. I, I understand. It sounds a little idealistic. You say, oh, they got it. But I don't want to. I don't want to necessarily do it that way. I'm saying, yes. Okay. Fine. Now, what, if the truth be known, boom, boom. Can it? Can would it well, be? Well, I wish I had brought a document I just finished uh, looking at and reading it again. And it's even better. In fact, I'm going to make copies of it so all of us can have the appendix of a book that a young man has done on Pan-Africanism in the 21st century. And the third appendix is Julius Nereres, the former Prime Minister of Tanzania's presentation in 1997 at the 40th anniversary of the independence of God. No clearer statement have I ever read. No clearer statement that's simple. No clearer statement that's from his heart. No clearer statement from anybody who's had nation building experience. I mean, I read that, I said, damn, I thought I knew the very. But this speech, he says that one of the greatest difficulties is that we had a, a struggle for liberation. We liberate ourselves, and then we stopped, or we went back. We went, started going back. So we're trying to hang on to ethnicities. We're trying to hang on to clan structures. We're trying to hang on to nations that are not nations. So we need to look at the whole thing. How do we restructure a 21st century African global family? That's the great challenge. Okay. It's okay. not to hang on okay. to some okay. antiquated I, 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 survival units called okay. claims. I, 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 I want to just say to my brother, right, I want to just say that to be ironic. I want to just say it's ironic because he, you're in Africa. I've never been to Africa. We can listen to you, you and Dr. Yes, it's a subtitle. But capitalism, capitalism is ensuring that the clan go away, disappear. That's right. Exactly. Capitalism is going to ensure because That's when they take our people from all over South Africa, the, the men, take them away from the wives and the, the, the and throw them into something. Yeah. After that, that, that clan thing moves because you, you know, see oppressed people. And when all these Africans are moving to these cities, okay. you, you're losing your clan. I get, with, yes, with, with, I, I'm there. right there. You're I losing that. your clan. I, the yes, clan mean not, at this point, the clan means nothing to you. That's why, that's why, well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking about traditional leadership. Let me, let me do this another way, okay? Pan-Africanism, okay? 
I particularly, the, the tenets of Pan-African, they are great, great, great. But I don't believe in this thing about a United States of Africa or United, uh, or United uh, Nations of Africa. I believe because Pan-Africanism is still a reaction to the carving up, you know, to, to, to the Berlin carving up of Africa. If anything, just like the, the, the it should be United Cultures of Africa that can move in nowhere, no borders, that moves, that moves around. A United Cultures of Africa that moves around. So even if, 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 if you're, if you're from from Malawi, and, and, and all of a sudden you start moving because the, the whatever's happening, and you're, you're drifting towards Zimbabwe, well that's that that's fine. So 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 Pan African needs to take the step of of instead of reacting to colonialism, uh, go before colonialism, or if, if if you will. So so it'd be a United Cultures of Africa, if that, no borders. But there was okay? no United Cultures of Africa. Before colonialism, I, I understand that, but I'm saying, but you there had, were cultures you had, that you had cultural hegemony over a certain period. So you have a Bantu culture, you have a, a, a culture of, of the uh, people along the coast. You have a culture that this brother we just saw the ambassador. He's an amazing personal. I'm looking at his eyes, looking at the shape of his head, looking at that deep black color. I said, what a mixture he represents. And then his mindset. So he's one of the nicest Africans I've ever met in terms of this dynamic, you see? So I'm saying we, we would be fooling ourselves to think of Africa pre-Africa. We don't have us, we need studies of it. But pre-Africa went through shocks, went through, uh, uh, we need to project, as Diep says, one of our greatest Minds, Shake, he says that if you want a model for a developmental society, then that model is in the river valleys of the world, particularly the Nile River Valley. And we should master that thousands of years of development in which they learn to mix, group, have groups mix, learn to have diversity in agriculture, they learn to have upper and lower regions, they learn to have territorial states and not the nation state. The nation state is direct product of capitalism and slavery. That's exactly. And it is not a reality for the African. And so the African world should put these things in check. They should put the clans as necessary to keep the bloodlines and the cultural lines together. But they, they can't work in the modern world. You see, they, they have a role to keep African historical continuity. But you can't have the whole two billion Chinese organizing themselves in 30 years, 40 years, the way no people on the planet have organized and taken a combination economically of capitalism, politically of the Communist Party, and culturally of the Mandarin Confucian. They have taken that dynamic to produce something that's gonna roll over everybody. And if we don't understand that there are global families, the Arab families are dysfunctional, but that's a global family using their money. The Europeans have said they're gonna be fighting each other for a thousand years, but the East and West of the European world is trying to get together. The Indian family, that's another Hindu cultural family coming together. And so if we don't understand, we need the culture. I get where you're going. We need to use our culture, but not to divide us up. No, that, I'm, not, I'm, to, I'm, to I'm sorry. If you misunderstood together. what I was saying, I would say you know, it's like the it's, it's like the, the animals of Serengeti. They have to move, and they all share in that water hose. That's what you say with the with, 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 with the Nile River. That's what I was talking when I say culture. I just mean that you know, if you want to have your, but you still can mix if you want. We're humans, we can mix. Not like the we don't have to all be zebras and, and say, oh, you're not a zebra, blah, blah 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 like that. Okay, one more thing before you all leave. Okay. So we did the past. Let me ask but you something. I need to slap you on the ass yeah, because yeah. of Pan-Africanism. Yeah, yeah, you hit me with that words, one. We got You're still reacting to, I'm saying. Nationalism, we got capitalism, we got in, Protestantism, in, we got that, Catholicism, that, yeah, yeah. et cetera. And here we come up with a concept to bring us together yeah, yeah. at whatever level and at whatever time period it is 
And you're going to say it's just a reaction to the Berlin Conference and the insanity of white folks dividing us up. No, I'm saying that the, as you as you continue to keep these nations these these borders and people these borders are porous. People keep it. They 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 don't pay attention to these borders anyway unless unless somebody comes in and starts beating on them or something like that. I was just saying the Pan Africanism is not dealing with this fact that that people are ignoring the uh, uh, the the nation states. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's going back. It's, well, I'm saying back. I'm wrong. But it's, it goes to cultures so because if if somebody if somebody is, 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 is if if a Sutu person is is also in 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 um, in, in, Mo, in, in Mozambique, right. they they don't <laughs> care about you know going across to to, to, to right. South African so border and going up to Lesotho. They got to go past and going through through right. Swaziland to get there. They so don't care about that. that would help you and us work through all of this great dilemma Maybe. that we have. Maybe. Where do we sit, fit in the world? I, I actually, having done this stuff for 40 or 50 years, came up with using the triangular shape to reclaim the pyramids and the culture of the Nile, but using it to show dynamic relationships. That Dr. Diep talks about this, and others talk about this. The, the thinkers of Europe, Marx, Hegel, uh, Lenin, John Stuart Mill thought about this, and they, and they referenced the ancient Greeks, but they stopped there. They don't go back to the ancient Greeks reference, which was the Africans, Afro-Asian people. So you're talking about thesis, the foundation of everything, and every thesis begets an antithesis, an opposite. There are laws of, of opposites in the universe. Thesis, antithesis, interrelate and produce a synthesis. Just the human family's growth is a synthesis, the mother, the father, and the child. So synthesis is the dynamic relationship that we want. We have a foundation African, and that African foundation was disrupted by the European insanity. And so now we're trying to produce a synthesis of the new African consciousness. And that has to be systematized, not around the state system or around the great scholarly work of the Dr. Diep. It has to be systematized. And every system has three dimensions. Economics is the foundation of any system. That's your creative, productive potential. If you're not creative and productive, you die. If your body's systems are not creative, productive, they die. If the cells in your body are not creative, productive, they die. If the environment that you have to live in is not creative, productive, it dies. If the ecology that you have to survive in is not creative, productive, it dies. If the cosmos that you're not creative and productive in, it dies. So economics is the founding principle of the universe, and it's complemented by politics. Politics is not what politicians do, certainly not what African presidents do. Politics is what you do to control your most important aspect of life, which is your economics. So politics is your management capability. Economics is your productive capability. Without economics and politics, without your product, with your 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 production and your capability, you don't go nowhere. But the key to where you're going to go is the third dimension, the synthesis, which is culture. And culture tells culture is the mind. Culture is the, are the values. Culture tells you what type of economics to have. Do you want a predator economics or a predator politics, or do you want an African communal economics and a communal politics? Culture tells you who to do your politics with. And so the key is culture. But the fragments of our great cultural coming together cannot be the basis for dividing, devising where we need to go. These clans are survival units. These uh, nations are, are survival uh, clans togetherness. Territorial state is what Dr. Clark said we should have. If in our pan-Africanism, we want a state, forget the nation state. One of the white scholars, Basil Davison from England, has said the curse of the nation state. We're sitting there today talking to an ambassador who I was shocked because he doesn't come out of the English tradition. He comes out of the Senegalese tradition. In other words, the English ran up the River Gambia, 150 miles, staked it out to prevent the French from collapsing an entity that would have given them power in terms of the people in Senegal and Guinea. So it is a contrived national entity. It does not deserve to exist. However, I didn't want to say that. 
uh, to the brother. Well, now I'm misinformed you because I, I thought it was a, a, a straight up swap between Djibouti and, and, and Gambia. <laughs> that's, no, that, no, that, that, that's what in I thought. In other words, the, the English were interested in slavery, not interested in African nationalism, not interested in a productive no, okay. African population. The Europeans sat in Europe in their various places and planned how we're going to exploit Africa. Who's going to get a piece of the pie? And that's not Berlin Conference. Berlin Conference is the European system's Johnny come lately, and they're always Johnny come lately, the Germans, coming in the picture and saying, we want a share of this colonial framework that you're developing. They came in late in the slave system. They came in in, in, in 1682 to form the, the, the Brandenburg okay. Company. Stop at the slave the Dutch stop, had for, stop, stop, hold on. I, don't, I have to cut you off. Look, because the kids... And he's the, trying to cut my... Yes. I'm trying to dramatic but, but, audio yeah because his, uh, because uh, the kids uh, got to know this what, what they're doing. dealing with in their audio drama because they're dealing with, with with different clans because they all they have right now is is church and alcohol you know Shabin and and and, 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 and the church right yeah. and with, with audio, the way they're using audio drama is that they don't have to deal with that anymore and they are bringing themselves together all the different because they, they speak different languages they well different different aspects of the same the language different clans yeah. coming together. Yeah, yeah. Different yes aspects. for, for yeah. using audio drama yeah. and that's that's why I see that's culture like that. Now, I have to jump you off for that because I can always we can always re reference that. I can always right. I can look you up on YouTube and say look 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 at that. So you know right. right. So I don't mean to slap you like that. I'm sorry. I, I with all due no, respect. He but here's but here's the thing. African here's the clash thing. of culture and, and but, but, and, and but here's the thing because you mentioned economics. That's the next the, the, the next we have to look at because the economics that we have is not transparent. To me, the two things that we need is transparency and justice, full stop, okay? Now, European right, justice, No, I say I didn't say us? justice, I know I, I said justice in the, in the name of Mangalisa well, Rabba Sububwe. Humani humanity, humanity, humanity. Talk about hum African hum humanity. Humanity. humanism. African humanism, thank you. Okay. African humanity, Rabba Sububwe, thank you very much. African humanism okay. includes justice. Okay, uh, African humanism. There is a thing that now, because of, of what's called the blockchain protocol, where you can you have you can see where the, where, where at least where the, the money flow is, you can see what people are investing in whatever. It's called the blockchain pro protocol. What is it? It's blocked. Chain protocol. The blockchain protocol. Blockchain protocol. B L O C K R B N. B B L O C K. Blockchain protocol. Like like slavery chain. Then it's personified. People know it because the first thing that come out of the blockchain was was Bitcoin. But that's not all of it. That's just an aspect of it. If we if we want to make a a, a, a cattle coin. We could do it out of the blockchain protocol. The, 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 the importance of the blockchain protocol is that you is that what it's, it's a public ledger. So when, so if, if I give you some money, right, or under the table, whatever have you, I, it's not possible. Well, it is possible, but you will be busted sooner or later. Everybody will see that I gave you money under the table. Uh -huh. You see, it's, a, the, it's personified by Bitcoin, but there's other things in, involved. You can go to say BitGold is one of the things, or you can just you don't even have to do, deal with, the, with with that. You can just uh, monitor, get into a Bit Reserve, which 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 you can which you can switch your money back and forth between the between the the, 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 the what's, what's called cryptocurrency. So I'm I'm now what I'm asking. This is the <laughs> What I'm asking, really, is, especially with the economic shot, should we, sh should we not um, look at cryptocurrency? Because since it is new, it's only been around since 19, uh, sorry, since 2008, which means that if we if we come John come lately to that, we can't define if we're not at the table when we're defining this stuff or or, or investigating this stuff, then it'll be our own fault if somebody wouldn't rush out over but us. The, but the Nigerians don't wait. The Nigerians are heavy into it. They're creating a whole other economic dynamic around it. And so, and, and, and so, and so is a uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So these are the type of discussions we need to have. That's the to clarify, to put some meat on these things that we want. Pan African means nothing but all Africans, and that's what we need. The Chinese don't say they have. They live their culture. And so they're forcing even the Tibetans. Yeah. They wouldn't even let the Tibetans have their nice little kingdom in the sky. Yeah. They want the Tibetans in. Yeah. The one thing they do, they don't mess with the Mongols. <laughs> they leave those suckers alone. <laughs> they go south to deal with the other groups that they can pull in. They put that wall up there, not because they like walls. They put that wall up there to keep out a warrior culture that could devastate them. And then